Hi, it's John Thorndike, and this is my latest novel, The World Against Her Skin. This is the book I've always wanted to write about my mother. After she died at the age of 57, I went to talk to some of her friends, and they told me some stories, but not enough about the core of her life, the emotional truth of it. Twice I went to Miami to talk to the man for whom she left my father, and he talked pretty freely about her. I don't know if everything he said was the truth, but he confirmed some stories and told me others I'd never heard before. In the last 10 years of her life, my mother and I had any number of good talks, but I think the best of them came when we were off on some trip together, somehow disconnected from our past. When I lived in Chile, she came down to see me. We went up to stay in a little inn at the foot of the Villarica volcano. And as we lay there at night in our beds, just the moonlight coming in and the volcano gleaming outside, she told me about her first marriage and how that ended. She told me that she had taken a train from Beaumont, Texas to New York City with her diaphragm hidden inside her suitcase. She didn't want him to know that she was leaving him forever. This is not the kind of story that most sons hear, but there was something in that room that enabled her to open up in the dark and tell me those stories. Uh, some years earlier, when I was in the Peace Corps, she came down to visit me in Central America. We went up to Chichi Castanango in Guatemala. And there too, we were lying in two beds in a small dark room with a stone fireplace between us and a fire going. And I think we felt somehow protected by that small Mayan town. Uh, that was the night that she told me about her lover. I think she wanted me to understand why she had left my father. That was the night that she said of that lover, I had four years of absolute love and it was worth any price. That was the night she told me, he dominated me completely and I loved it. This was back in the 60s. I'd never heard of dominance and submission, but that sentence stuck with me. I never forgot it. I knew plenty when I started to write this book, but not enough to make it a memoir. It had to be a novel. Still, I love how the lines have blurred these days. We have reality fiction, we have fictional memoirs, and what a freedom it is to be able to write a book that is both a memoir and a novel. You don't want to be told the truth of a story. You want setting and description and dialogue, all the things I had to make up and that carry us into the truth. The woman in this book, whose name is Virginia Thorndike, is very much the mother I remember, yet much is invented here. I wanted the truth, but I wanted a convincing book. <laughs>